Well, hi there, Shooby Doodlers, and what am I drawing with today? It's a, a correction pen. Uh, these are things you kind of use for when you made mistakes in your writing and typing, and um, it's this kind of correction fluid in the end. Uh, but they're re it's really nice blobby kind of ink. It's, well, it's not, uh, is it ink? I don't know what it's made of. I'm gonna show you how to do kind of scary writing. And you really need to, let's work this out. If you kind of work out your S shape first, and then you can kind of flick out the ends like that. And then the rest of it just kind of falls into place. And the same with the C. So if you start off kind of with the shape of the letter, and then you need to be pressing on the body. It's a kind of a squeezy bottle kind of um, handle. It's not a handle, is it? I don't know what you, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. <laughs> anyway, look, here's the A. So I'm going to go around like that. And there's the A part, but then we're going to flick, flick all these bits around there. And again, we'll get that kind of thickness. And then, oh, I'm just going to do very, very simply like that. And then the Y I'll bring around there and flick those ends. Oops, and I've smudged that a bit there. So watch that for that. Uh, and then... It smells a bit, this stuff, so uh, don't blame me if it's toxic. <laughs> and all this <laughs> drawing <laughs> gives you, uh, makes you faint or something like that. That's the, you can go, what does it say? Highly flammable, so be careful about that. Irritant, okay, so be careful about that. Dangerous to the environment, <laughs> okay, so I really shouldn't be recommending this stuff at all, should I? But never mind. Scary, right, let's do. Uh, you can do this obviously with a paintbrush or something else as well, but this just came to hand. Now in the printing trade, now you see I'm using um, black paper here, I'm doing in white. And in printing, we call this reversing out. So you would, in printing you would do the lettering in black on white, and then photographically you would reverse out so the black became white and uh, so I suppose I suppose you can still technically call this reversed out lettering letter so just do these kind of shapes and I think also with this kind of scary writing there's something about having you know the cross on the E slightly lower down it's a strange thing uh, letter and make it all really jumbled up and you can squeeze the body of this pen as you're going along to make it more kind of blobby and and we do the G here just to kind of a circle then flick up for the top of the G Bring that around, flick those ends, and then you can kind of fill in the middle part here. We can maybe make this a little more exciting if we kind of add in a little skeleton as well. And that's quite simple. So put the teeth there and the lower teeth there. And that'll be his neck. And that's his sort of shoulders and collarbone. And then imagine little balls like that. So he's kind of doing spooky dancing up there. That's the kind of elbow. That's the wrist. And then we can just scribble in his chest, rib cage like that. And then uh, his pelvis is kind of a, uh, is this all still on the page? It is, yeah. There you <laughs> I'm just gonna move this over. So we fit this all in like that. And the, so it's like a butterfly shape, the pelvis there, and two little holes there, and then you can paint in the rest of that. And again, here, you're gonna to want to have a ball, and another ball for the knee, uh, and that will come down here, ball for the ankle. 
and uh, and you're going to want a ball for the knee and the ankle and there we are again scary lettering and then you can put some little kind of movement marks around the place like that movement on the skeleton as he's dancing and there you go very simple <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and learn how to draw a scary, creepy eyeball or maybe take a chance with a mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed and keep coming back for more videos all the time. Check out my vlog channel. And uh, in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.